hello friends welcome to my channel take SD. so in this video i'm going to show you how to create mac os bootable usb drive on windows so let's start the video first of all we need at least 16 gb of pen drive to install the bootable pen drive first of all we need to open any browser from here we need to type hr now you have to search it in google so as you can see balina hr so you have to open this website now from here you have to click on download hr it will take you to the download page so from here you can see hr for windows so you have to click download here so download will start now now you have to open another tab from here you have to type explorer plus plus now I have to search it on Google. So you have to go to the first website, Explorer Plus Plus. You have to download 64 bit. So the download will start. Now we have to go to another tab and you have to download Mini Tool Partition Wizard. So you have to search Mini Tool Partition Wizard. Now you have to click on the first website. Now you have to click on download wizard for free edition. So the download will start now. So from here again you have to open a new tab and you have to type CPUZ. So you have to open this. Now you have to click on setup English. Now from here you have to click download now. Now it will download the CPUZ exe files so i have already installed it so as you can see in my desktop now you have to open the download from here you have to click on balina hr and you have to install it now after that you have to install the mini tool partition wizard now we have to wait for the installation to finish so we have to wait for some time Balina HR has successfully installed. Now we have to install the mini tool partition wizard. So we have to wait for some time. So we have successfully installed both the softwares here. Now we have to click on finish. Now we need to open the CPUZ software which we installed earlier because we need to know the code name of our processor. So as you can see the code name of our processor is KB Lake R. So now we have to cross it. Now we have to open a tab here we have to search Olarila. From here we have to go to the first website. Now from here you can see there is an option EFI folder, so you have to click on it. From here we have to find the EFI file of our processor, KB Lake R. So we have to find KB Lake R. So as you can see, KB Lake download, so you have to download it. Now we need the Mac OS image file. So uh, as you can see, there is option vanilla image. So we have to click on it. It will open a new tab. Here we can download the image file of our Mac OS. So if we go down, we can see there is a lots of image. You can download whichever image you want. So I will download from here Catalina Urarilla. So as you can see, so this file. So we have to download this file so i have already downloaded it so i don't need to download now i have to cross it so i have made a folder here mac os and i put it all the file here so as you can see now i will cross it now i have to connect the pen drive with my pc then i have to open balina hr now after opening it 
click on flash from file now I have to select the image file which we downloaded earlier so this image and I have to click on open I have to select the target now select the 16 GB pen drive now I have to select now I have to click on flash now it will take some time so we have to wait for some time to finish the flash so as you can see the pen drive is flashing up very quickly so we have to wait for some time to finish the flash so it is almost finished now it is validating our flash so it will finish now now as you can see we have successfully finished the flash we have to cross the valina hr after that you have to open mini tools partition wizard now from here you have to find the flash drive which we flashed so you have to click on the efi folder you have to assign a letter so i'll click ok here now I'll click apply. I'll click yes. It will take some time. So it is finished. Now we have to cross the mini tool partition wizard. Now if we go to this PC, as you can see, if I partition is showing up. So now we have to go to Mac OS. Now we have to extract the Explorer Plus Plus. Now I have to open the folder and you have to open Explorer Plus Plus as administrator. Now we have to open the EA5 partition. From here, you have to delete the EA5 folder here. Now you have to delete it. Now after deleting it, you have to go to the Mac OS folder. Now you have to extract this Kaby Lake. You have to extract it. I have to open Kaby Lake. Now from here, you will see there is a EA5 folder. So you have to copy it. Now you have to paste it in EA5 partition, which we deleted. Now, after copying it, we have to cross everything. Our bootable pen drive is ready. With this pen drive, we can install Mac in Windows. So let's test it. First of all, we need to restart our laptop. So you have to restart it. Now we have to press the boot key of our laptops. Here, our boot key is F12. So we have to wait for restart and you have to type f12 here so if we type f12 here there is option efi usb device we have to select this and you have to press enter as you press enter we are ready for install the mac OS. so in next video i'll show you how to install mac OS. so thanks for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more video thank you